him! Come quick! It's an emergency! Oh, hey, Starch! No time for oh, hey, Starches today! We are in big, big trouble! In Little China? In everywhere! We're exactly 23 minutes and 47 seconds short of our educational requirement to stay on YouTube! Great green gods of greasy grimy gopher guts! We gotta do some things not right here. Educational requirement? One, we're not a television station, and B, they haven't had to do that since the early 80s. You know that. I know it. That guy knows it. But YouTube's ever-mutating array of brainless algorithms don't. They're drunk, or on fire, or drinking fire, or something. Because I got this threatening email about it just before this video started playing. Well, at least this time they're actually alerting us to their bullpucky. That's like a 6 billion percent improvement over their SOP. That said... How the Hellman's mayonnaise could we be short on educational content? By volume, 75% of our video emission is recycled educational material. And 10% of the remainder is raisins. We just have to comply and hope for the best. Thankfully, the malefactor found us this short about crystals on archive.org that's 23 seconds longer than we need. Let's do this. Well, I suppose it is the least we could do. Quite literally. The music, if a you a please -a. Nice that they got John Cage to do the intro for him. Mineral minimalism. Heh. <laughs> Alan's holding the music hostage. What? Oh, whoa, his head is growing directly out of his sternum. I suppose yeah. most of you have seen a crystal at one time or another. Probably in a natural history museum, or in a chemical bottle. You meth old sons of bitches! It's an big crystal. Dug out of a clay pit in Brazil. Stupid country. I'm glad the rainforest is dying. Here's a smaller one, broken from the side of a cleft in the rock in Arkansas. I'm gonna park the but car in Arkansas. But crystals big, beautiful things like this. As a matter of fact, crystals are everywhere. The salt you use to flavor your food, for example. And this guy knows salt <laughs> crystals of sodium chloride. You can see their shapes by looking at them through a magnifying glass. Little cubicle crystals of sodium chloride. Like the cubicle I wasted my life in. Snow. Here are some enlarged pictures of single snowflakes. Right before they melted. Each is a single crystal of water. How dare they! <laughs> Here's a crystal I like especially well. Probably because I made it myself. The closest it's thing I have to a sun. As a matter of fact, you can make a crystal just like it. Probably screw it up, though. I put some directions in the film notes in case you want to do it yourself. This guy is the you physical the manifestation of Pat Oswalt's man. And grow the crystal <laughs> in a mason jar. If you do do this, I'm sure you'll be very much impressed by one thing. Because clearly the you'd be impressed by dangling keys. For a week. Man. It keeps getting bigger. But all the time, it has plain faces. But a nice personality. Meeting in sharp edges. You can see I haven't ground the faces on this crystal or polished them at all. So wipe that thought out of your idiot grow. mind. It almost seems as if you were getting something out of nothing. Something, something from nothing is own, something. Which it this film is nothing. Throughout its career. In order to grow a single perfect crystal as big as this, you have to take pains and let everything happen slowly. Oh, like your kidney you can stuff. See what's actually happening by letting things happen a little bit faster and looking at the business under the microscope. If you're into that, I'm going to take a solution of alum, which is just itching to deposit crystals, Ew. and make a little pool of it on the microscope slide, and then add a few little crystals of alum to give the alum something to deposit on. I'm pretty sure the best joke I can make here will set off a YouTube restriction bot. And then get myself in focus and let her rip. 
Oh, holy Ooh. crap! There they are. Awesome! Oh, look at that! Yeah. My mind is blown! Some are wider than others. This, this is my new the god! Oh, snap! The same shape as they grow, just Did I just say, oh, snap? Naturally, they all sit down on the microscope slide on one of their biggest faces. I think this so guy knows a lot about having a face sat on. <laughs> the crystal is made of, and not on its size, so long as it's free to grow in all directions. Now, crystals don't only grow out of solutions. Sometimes it's through fusion. They grow out of gas. This is a cheap tactic. Snowflakes, water crystals grow that way. And one of the places, one of the most important places where crystals grow is, is in Walter White's Fleetwood Bounder. Here I've got another powder you can get at the drugstore called Salol. The only people who say lol are millennials and pissy cartoons written by I'll baby boomers. I'll put a little of it on a microscope slide. Get the feeling this is the highlight of his day. Then I'll carry it over here to the hot plate. <clears throat> then I'll clear my throat, because i got to tell you pinheaded knuckle-draggers everything! Burn, burn, stupid Salol! I'm the god! And now let's go over here to the microscope. This is Mr. Rogers' brother-in-law, Mr. Codgers. There's one growing, turning very slowly in the liquid as it grows. The spiraling shape will make yet. you go insane. It seems almost to push those flat faces ahead through the part that's still melted. Of course you know that the whole crystal isn't moving and shoving its front along. Unless you're some kind of moron. The face is becoming Man. solid and adding itself to the face. But it's doing this in such a way that the stuff added on also forms a flat face, so the crystal keeps its shape while it grows. Magic wand! Make uh, my crystal I'll grow! That carefully on the hot plate so as to leave just a little rounded blob of crystal. Oh, Mike Wazowski! That rounded blob will be a single crystal, but it won't have flat faces. And I want you to see what happens when this cools down again under the microscope. Look at it! Look at it! There it goes, growing the faces it wants to have. Meanwhile, I'm hollows, stuck with a face like scrotum jerky. Meh. So that its boundaries are all flat again. Notice now what happens when two crystals bump into each other, so to speak. Ooh, cannibalism! I want cannibalism! Around. They just stop growing where they meet, because they've used up all the stuff to grow with there. Oh, like strip malls. So the boundary between two crystals isn't necessarily one of the natural faces on either of them. This is a delicate whimsy of science, you bastards! On how the crystals happen to come together. Ah. When the whole thing is finally frozen, you have a dense mass of crystals. Maybe no single one of them shows any of its natural faces. Hiding behind conformist mask, every piteous attempt at rebellion time. subsumed to the greater will. Almost all rocks are made up this way. <clears throat> Ran up Great, to up our one take of this. Of Dad was right about me being a failure. Let's take a close look at it. You can see grains of the different colored minerals which make up granite. Here's a grayish grain of quartz. Here's a grain of pink feldspar. Yes, someone's gem soda. You might want to hold some Steven Universe jokes in reserve. This one's going to be a long haul. Be a single crystal. Notice that the three things don't mix together in the solid. Separate but they equal. Yeah. Separate grains. Before I get through, you'll begin to see why. Even if I have to when beat it in here. I was melting some bismuth in a crucible over here, and it's been cooling. I always thought getting science education from a hunchback would involve more lightning. <laughs> so that when I pour off the part of the bismuth that's still melted, you can see them. This is a man whose hopes and dreams were all crushed, then snorted. We've secretly replaced his coffee with bismuth crystals. Let's watch. Sometimes you can show up the crystals in a finished piece of metal. But by never on the first the surface, date. Maybe the second. I've not been able to try that yet. That will eat away the metal. Here's a cast brass door handle, which the manufacturer polished. People just not know years, how to pronounce the, the long U back then? It, and, and now you can see the boundaries between some of the crystals which make up that door handle. In most pieces of metal, the crystals are much smaller than these crystals. Because these big crystals probably the beat up the smaller ones in the locker room, just like that jerk Tony Percenti did. Well, just try towel snapping my wiener now! Well, so almost all solid things are made of crystals. Uh... In fact, if you ask a physicist these days to define a solid, he'll probably say 
Put solid. your pants on and get out of my kitchen. Person. Of course, that doesn't seem to get him very far. Just like how my leg of a lick hasn't like gotten me like very far. Lost it in the WW2. But he's got an answer to that one. The answer comes in two parts. The first part says, all matter is made of atoms. Oh, that was a bad read. The second part says, in crystal of matter, the atoms are arranged in regular order. What have I done with my life? I want to talk a little more about what he means by this and show you a little of the evidence for it. This the is the guy who is always gets the owl seat next to me on the airplane. A regularly repeated pattern of atoms, like the regularly repeated pattern of a wallpaper. You get a feeling this guy if spends a lot of time smoking and watching Captain crystal, Kangaroo? They might be taking up an orderly arrangement, like this arrangement of pennies on the table. Don't touch them! They're dimension. my life savings! Brah. They might be making an arrangement like these bearing balls. Adams invented executive together. desk toys? Of yes, course, technically. These close-packed arrangements aren't the only arrangements the atoms might take. They're just simple examples of what I mean. Now, already, perhaps, you can see... The warning signs of a stroke! Ideas, the idea that a crystal is made of little units, <laughs> atoms or molecules, all alike, and that those little units are arranged in the crystal in a regular array, you can see how those two ideas would explain what you've been looking at under the microscope. But it's wrong! Those alum crystals kept a symmetrical shape as they grew. But I kept a lumpy and now, gangly shape as I grew! Crystal, like Mer with a pattern of atoms Mer like the arrangement of pennies. There are more atoms in solution all around it. Like the kids in the playground surrounding me, pelting me with dodgeballs! Ah! In the crystal, you expect pennies to add themselves on at the same rate here, and here, and here, and so on, because conditions are the same at all those places. Instead, the thanks to economics, all those pennies go to executive shape, tax shelters. So long as nothing gets in the way and prevents more atoms from reaching the surfaces. Sixteen more of these and I can buy me a nudie mag. Let me show you another kind of evidence for these two ideas. Maybe the show us the first one because that penny thing was evidence of diddly sh**. It comes from the properties of the finished crystal. This is the evidence of cleavage. Hello. If you've ever handled mica, you're acquainted with cleavage. Okay, all of my cleavage jokes the are a bit predictable. Maybe we should take a short break. Easily I'm in down. One direction and not Woof. I love me some science. At least the easily digestible tumbler-friendly version of science. But this? This is drier than powdered Stephen Fry. It is making me ponder the mysteries of science. For example, I now have a pretty good glimpse into what infinity is like. So I'm thinking this needs a little spicing up. I'm pretty sure I'm about to be glad that I'm two days drive west. East. West coast now. Oh, right. Two days drive east of you. Should be far enough away from the blast radius. Science! A George went and took one of those $5 crystal grow kits, a whole box of sea monkeys, and dumped them all together in this budget-conscious, scientific-adjacent glassware. Aren't those highly toxic? What, sea monkeys? Nah, they're a little salty, but fine with a mild queso. Hey, you didn't have to get shrunk down and injected into your bloodstream to fight them. You really need to eat more roughage. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Way to go, Benton Quest. Eh, I'll call Orkin. Two more visits and we get a gift basket of summer sausage. Everybody wants a rock to wind a piece of string around. Throw the crew door wide. Let the people crawl inside. Someone in this town is trying to burn the playhouse down. We want to stop, we want to want a rock to wind a string around. But everybody wants a rock to wind a piece of string around. Hey, Pipples, if you liked our nonsense, want to give us a like or a subscribe or leave a comment down there somewhere.
You can also do us a big solid by joining our Patreon, where you'll get to join us for live streams, get early access to the newest videos, and other such things. Geek Vision. This needs some spicing up. A little spice of life. That's right. A little spice of life. That's right. <laughs> in everywhere we're exactly 43 minutes <clears throat> yeah. science a uh, george science a uh, george went and took one of those dollar store crystal glow kits dumped a whole bunch of sea monkey packs into it ah oh, jesus they're drunk on fire or drinking fire or something because <laughs> Okay. Science! A George went and took a... Science! A George went and took a $5 glow kit? Oh, god damn it. They're drunk or on fire or drinking fire or something. Because this is a... Th <sighs> something into... A little bit into, uh, snaps there. I am well in my cups. Science! A uh, George went and took one of those $5 crystal grow kits, a whole box of sea monkeys, and put them together in this budget-conscious, scientific-adjacent glassware. I was so close. I'm not saying that line again. <laughs>